All right. Tech expert Julian Sanders from London Drugs joins me now with something that is popping up on more and more wish lists this year. Something that was popular once upon a time, but now it's making a comeback. Vinyl records. What? What is this crazy contraption you have here? Well, this is a record player. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a current item. Uh, we sell quite a few of them. There's a lot of people with uh, records in their basement, but it's a lot more than that. Now, you, you say uh, it's a current item, but this looks exactly like the one my parents... I used to listen to my Mr. Dress Up records back in the 80s on something that looked very similar. Yeah, uh, it, uh, it's actually the same idea. The technology has uh, stayed about the same. Uh, this one also has a uh, USB port on the back, so you can plug it into your computer mm -hmm. and uh, take your records and put them in uh, uh, to your iPod or uh, MP3 player. Why? Why Why would we bring these things back? They, they, they had their time. They left for a reason. Why are they coming back so popular now? Well, the uh, uh, sound quality is what a lot of people are coming back to. Okay. When you uh, go on and you just buy a song for a dollar, it's a lot different because you're not really experiencing the whole album. Uh, the uh, uh, liner notes, the whole uh, holding the artwork in your hands, it's a different experience. Yeah, so you, you actually get, get to feel... With, you can get that with CDs, though. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's much more enlarged. Uh, there's a lot of liner notes, uh, too, that have That's more information I mean, than this is, uh, CDs do. This is the one that came with the Fleetwood Mac record here it's immense it's got yep. big posters and pictures and and lyrics and it is very cool but again i, I don't really understand why why is this different than what you have on a CD or or even an MP3. What is? How is it sound any different? It's the tone of the music. It's an analog uh, medium, so the distortion and the dirtiness of it actually adds to the music. Digital is so clean that you don't experience the whole feel. Uh, the artists also have a lot of different uh, ways of enhancing their music in the studio, and uh, most of the classic artists took advantage of that. So you're hearing it in the way that they wanted it to be heard. Okay. Now this is the uh, Charlie Brown Christmas record. This is uh, right out of the, I don't even know, this must be 1988 it says on yep. here. But you can get new stuff as well, right? That's right, yeah. Uh, we have uh, Pink Floyd The Wall actually outsold the uh, CD 5 to 1 in our stores. This is a new release, a uh, re-release of it. Right, yeah. Uh, Pink Floyd came wow. out with a whole new catalog as well as the Beatles. Uh, that really brought a lot of people uh, back, especially uh, younger people, brought them back to vinyl. Uh, there's also digital digital downloads that you get with some of the vinyls. So when you buy this on vinyl, you actually get the digital version uh, as well in high quality okay. MP3. So that's a good deal. It does cost $50 though. Is, is that right. what the going rate is for a lot of these? Uh, there's actually, most of them are around $25 is okay. kind of the average. There's some that are less, some that are more. Uh, there's a whole ACDC catalog that's around 20. Okay. Uh, so it really depends on uh, the edition and if uh, there's any extras in there that'll add to the price. All right, so if you have the ear for it, this is the wave of the future as far as music goes, right? Yep. For the audio files out there, we've got them. All right. Vinyl is back. Might be worthwhile to check out if you haven't finished your gift buying yet. Julian, thanks for the tech update. Thanks, Jeremy. We'll be back.